when you went across the country with Donald Davis and mm -hmm. Marie Davis and the trucks and were playing across Canada, where did you play? We played in places, uh, Winnipeg, the Dominion Theatre, um, out farther west, we played in high schools, several high schools. Um, I remember the first tour, which was The Drunkard, we came back through the northern states and we ended up in Chicago in a nightclub-y kind of place with the biggest glass floor in America. And I thought we are going to go into this absolutely you know, very ritzy thing. Well, the whole nightclub was uh, <laughs> you know, quite small and, and we, played, we played there. But that was the only time that we ever did sort of a night. We were there for months, too. I got to Trenchmouth there. I had to come home. But, um, and did you play Vancouver, Edmonton, Calgary? Yes, right. And again, would you be and, in and, high and the small theaters, sometimes in high schools. Um, I guess we played that first year uh, in church basements, too, uh, while people were getting theaters. And, did the company and, have a and name, you see, the, or was the, this the Crest Company. The, it was uh, the Crest Company. It was the Crest, Crest company. company. Yeah, um, but uh, the Dominion Drama uh, you, you play, people must have been playing all during the war in some kind of theaters and whatever. There was always, it seemed to me, uh, always some place in all these towns that you could play. And life on the road would be traveling in a bus or traveling by train or uh, sometimes or? by train, sometimes by bus. I know uh, the bus certainly took all the sets and costumes out. Right. But I can remember uh, being out west, and we had a, an opening, and I think it was actually Chicago we were going to play. We were coming back, and there had been a snow on the on the rails, you know, a landslide, and so you know we were a day or about eight hours, and you keep thinking. Keep get it, you know. Keep. We're almost out there, you know, doing it with our hands, but we made it. And did you, you know. travel with crew, or did you offload the sets? Uh, the actors, no, 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 no. We had a crew. You had a crew, or and they would pick up, uh, you know, people in each of the places. And who actually was the kind of line producer of these tours? I mean, the person who organized it all and whatever were, was Mary Davis. Wow, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's a lot of work. It's a huge amount of work. He would have help and. People, but it right. was he spearheaded the whole thing. And mm -hmm. you worked at the Crest as well? I worked at the Crest as well, but uh, not that much. I was doing my own show and I was in um, The Women, one of the few times that I wasn't pregnant actually, and I played the pregnant woman in there. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking about that because, you know, you'd have the seats built up for you and so you could get in and out. When you're, you're really preg pregnant. When you're pregnant, yes. So, so you, for four so of your you children, uh, for each pregnancy, were you ever in shows? You were in shows with each pregnancy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And then uh, So one how, show how many months along could you be before they said off no, the stage? No, no. I was, I was, well, I must have been six or seven months pregnant with one of them when I played. And it was all evening dress and whatever. And we sort of frigged around with that. And you know, built up whatever. And then, of course, one time I was just only a month or so pregnant and did a show which lasted six weeks, I guess, and then lost that one at the end of the show. I mean, it it wanted to dance, I guess. <laughs> I've never understood it. or known the reasons why the sort of Davis era and the crest, why that kind of came to an end. That was in the 60s, in the 60s, toward the end of the 60s. And I was in England at that time. But just hearing what was going on, I just, oh. you know. And it, it absolutely broke poor Murray because it, the Davises, they were way ahead of their time, you know? They would be a repertory company now, you know, that really would be treasured. But there was a lot of animosity. From within the community? Yes. Uh -huh. Professional, personal, yes. gender-driven, yes. or yeah. what? Uh, no, well, theater, but a, l a lot of the people said, you know, wanted in, um, you know, and they just, it was very vicious. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it became a mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. well, club or yes, whatever that yes. people then resent it. Yes. Because, you know, it is useful sometimes to talk about, as I say, the train yes. wreck that an actor can have with a director and to talk yeah. sometimes about the darker, uglier yes. side of Yes, this was a very ugly. This was very ugly. And what we yeah. do as a community not to let that negativity Well, they certainly had a, no a lot of people fighting for them, but it, it, the last, you know, it was too strong coming out. And they were going to start another theater that, you know, they had two productions or something, right. and that never materialized.